1. Plug in and unplug. Check the caution sticker near the connector, make sure to use with the right type of controller. Align arrows on the connector and the module, and firmly plug in until they securely locked. Press the secure lock towards center to release the connector. 2. How to use Press power button on the wireless control box and pad to power on or off this heated product. Toggle the heat zone selector button to L to get to left heat zone settings. Press the clock plus or minus button to set the left side running hours desired. Press the plus or minus button to set the left side heat level desired. Press power button to power on or off left heat zone the right side settings remained. Toggle the heat zone selector button to R to get to right heat zone settings. Press the clock plus or minus button to set the right side running hours desired. Press the plus or minus button to set the right side heat level desired. Press power button to power on or off right heat zone, the left side settings remained. Toggle the heat zone selector button to D to get to dual heat zone settings together. Press the clock plus or minus button to set dual side running hours desired. Press the plus or minus button to set dual side heat level desired. Press power button to power on or off dual heat zone. 3. Lock or unlock wireless control. To avoid misuse of this heated product or played by children, lock up the wireless control by holding down the power button on the wireless control box till the indicator lights get flashing and keep the control pad remain power on in the meantime. When the wireless control pad display error on the screen by pressing any button, the wireless control is locked up and no longer operational. Following the same method to unlock the wireless control, Four. Caring. If the wireless control pad doesn't show any information on the display and it is not operational, the box and pad need to be reset by pairing. Take out the pink included in the manual. Use a pink to click the S button inside the pinhole on the wireless control box. The indicator lights start flashing when the pairing starts, keep holding down the power button on the wireless control pad till it displays setting information on the screen. The pairing is completed. You can now use the wireless control pad to set your desired levels.